please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream On if you're new and if you're already a dreamer. Welcome, welcome back y'all. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back y'all. Welcome back. Okay, I have so much information to go over and to share. Couple disclaimers I want to give. No matter what time of year you're watching this video, don't be confused by the Santa's hat. These tips will work throughout the year. So don't fret if you see this and it's not the holiday season. This information will still work for you. Okay, so I want to thank Yamation because they did provide me with some DTF film, some DTF adhesive powder, and this is a hack. I do want you to know I do not have a DTF printer yet. Hopefully, I'll be getting one soon. However, I do not have one yet. So this is a hack. So please understand what a hack is, okay? But hopefully you watched my last video with the DTFM and powder hack for sublimation. But it's okay. Everyone may not have a sublimation printer. So I got something for you if you have an inkjet printer, okay? I have received so many questions. I even went live. People have questions during the live, after the live, under the video. So I'm going to answer all those questions at the end of the video. But first, y'all probably saw the thumbnail, but this is the shirt we're going to go over. Now, here's some inside. I messed up on this shirt. I do want to let you know it was not anything with the materials. It was 100% user error. So I'm going to show you that hiccup because I fixed it, as you can see. Oh, it's fixed, baby. You know we're going to fix it. But I'm always open and honest with you guys. I always let you know when I mess up, etc. So that you guys won't mess up. Because I messed up already for you. So, the link for these items will be down in the description. So, please use my link if you get them. They're bomb products. So, please use my link down in the description. But let me show you the error that I made. Then, we're going to show you the whole video of how I fixed it. Then, I'm going to have some tips and I'm going to answer a lot of the questions that you guys have been asking me. I even have a handy dandy notebook down here so that I can answer them, all the ones that I remember, so we can get that done. But, if you like this video, if you love my channel as much as I love you, make sure that you subscribe like the video, comment, hit the notification bell so you can know videos go up. Okay, let me go and show you how I made a little hiccup. Then we go going to jump into the video of how I fixed that hiccup. Then we got tips at the end. So make sure you stay around because it's about to be a whole lot of gems and jewels in this video, baby. So let's go. Okay, guys. So I think I over cured it because... Look at it. It almost worked, but then you see this yellow. So that's okay. I printed another one out and I'm going to do it again. You see that yellow? So we're going to, you see it's like a yellow behind it and it's all yellow. So I am going to fix this. Okay. I'm going to not cure it that long, but she's still so cute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, y'all. So let's fix it. Okay. In addition to curing it for too long, y'all, I think I cured it for like four minutes. I also pressed it too high. I pressed it at 380 degrees for, I think, 45 seconds, like how I did the sublimation. This is inkjet, not sublimation. This poor baby done got turned yellow. So <laughs> let me show you how I fixed it. But you guys can clearly see that it will work. It's just it was scorched. I did it too long, cured it too long, and pressed it too long. But let's fix this because y'all know we're not going out like that with her little cute self. Also, I want to make sure that I'm clear. This was a user error. This had nothing to do with the products. It was my mistake. And as a person, I make mistakes, but I fix them as well. So let's get to it. Y'all see that? So even with that little hiccup, it still wasn't that bad. That means these products are good. Okay. And don't be like me. 100% user error. So we fix it though. So let's jump into the video. Lego. Okay, guys, some very important information here. You want to know that when you're printing out these transfer films, the print side is up. It shows you that information here. It says this side of the transfer film is the printing side. Oh, so you want to be mindful of that. 
this time around, I will be using my HP 9015. Okay, so that's the printer I'm using. And I am not using a DTF printer. Like I said, I do not have one of those yet. Hopefully one day soon. But this is just me pulling the paper out. As you see, the transfer paper on both sides literally look the same. But you know, the side that is up is the side that you print on so for my particular printer for both of my printers because if you saw my sublimation hat it's the same but for my particular hp inkjet printer i place my print ting side downward so make sure you know what side your printer prints on okay so you can do a test i did a test just to make sure so that's as far as printing so like i said this is a hack for inkjet printers y'all see how good it came out do y'all see that like that looks absolutely amazing do you understand me Ooh we on my hp look how good it look and it's dark up here and this look the bomb and let me show you really quickly where I got this cute image. It is from Creative Fabrica Joy Christmas PNG Black Girl PNG. And right now they have a bomb sale right now. And I actually just upgraded my account twice. So <laughs> yeah, y'all, my link will be down in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Also, my links to the Yamation Adhesive Powder as well as the DTFM will be down in the description as well. So check those out. You guys, I am blown away at how great this inkjet on the film looks. It looks amazing. Let's go ahead and get ready to put the adhesive powder on here. I am grabbing my gloves because, you know, I personally just want to be safe just in case you know you just never know all right y'all we are back let me get my gloves on i'm showing you guys what we're going to be doing today we have that dcf transfer film again this side is the print side up my hp 9015 you have to place the print side down for it to print correctly and this is what I'm going to be using. Thank you so much, Yamation. I'm going to be using this DTF transfer film. That's 8.5 by 11. This is 8.5 by 11. And then I'm going to be using the DTF adhesive, the white medium powder for DTF transfer. All right, this is what I'm going to be using. So I do have the image printed out. Oh, like I told you guys in the beginning, I did have one that was an error. It was a user error, which was my fault, but I did fix it. So one tip that I will say is make sure that when you're putting the adhesive powder on, that is actually still wet, okay? Because with the inkjet, it dries pretty quickly. So make sure that you're prepared. And by being prepared, that means as soon as it prints out, go ahead and put that powder on. That's just how I personally did it. So here I am continuing to put that adhesive powder on the back of the ink of the film okay so what happens here is that there's that dtf film we put the ink on the film and then we place that adhesive powder on top that adhesive powder is going to make that ink stick to the fabric or the substrate that we're going to be using that's how it actually works and then the heat helps the ink and the adhesive powder adhere to our shirt or whatever substrate that we're using okay whatever fabrics that we're putting it on so I'm just making sure it's all coated I counted to like uh, 11 I think to put it on there I typically did 10 but it was a little bit more powder on there so I put it on there I don't know if it matters how many times you count that's just how I did it for the sublimation one and this is um, the next one that I'm doing with the inkjet printer okay I'm going to ask answer just a couple questions Questions people have asked people said can you use any inkjet printer from my knowledge yes as long as it's an inkjet printer that will work once all the powders on there just tap the powder off as you can see the powder has successfully stuck to the ink on the film so this looks like it's gonna look amazing I'm very happy with it you can see that so I'm gonna go ahead and set that down and I'm gonna take one of my gloves off and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the heat press all right, so 
this is a gilded heavy cotton 100 percent cotton shirt it is an extra large and i'm lint rolling and i'm gonna i cut i cut <laughs> what i did was i cut it so it can hang off the shoulders so a little fancy with it so i'm gonna go ahead and pre-press it so i lint rolled it now i'm pre-pressing it so now we have the image and it's all layered and we're going to place it up under here secure it you want to be very very careful that you do not touch it because this is like a clam so the front part is higher than the back part so you want to make sure that you don't press it down so you want to make sure that you don't actually close it on there okay okay so here's how it looks it definitely isn't as popping as a sublimation on this side but i don't want to over cure it so i did it for a minute and 30 seconds i just wanted to make sure that it was cured so i cured it at 380 degrees for a minute and 30 seconds but i'm actually going to press it at 325 for 15 seconds so the heat press needs to cool down all right so now we have the image and we are going to place it on the shirt i am going to tape it down because i have it cool off on my desk okay Hold it over just a little bit. All right. So now I have some tape on the sides because I am going to tape it down once I get where I want it. Okay. So I have it taped down. And I'm going to press it at 325 for 15 seconds. Okay, so it's pressed down. Oh no, you want to make sure it don't come up. So the heat press sometimes pulls it up. So you want to make sure it's down. I'm going to press it for five more seconds. Okay. So now I'm going to let it cool off. I'm going to set it on my desk and let it cool off. So in total, I actually pressed it for about 22 seconds. Okay, look how adorable she is. Now let's see if it worked. Remember, I did 325 for 15 seconds and I cured it for like a minute and a half this time. So it's cool to touch. I'm so nervous. And... All right. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, she is so cute. Okay. She's too, too adorable. Oh, my goodness. Look how cute she is. Okay. We're just going to put it over there with parchment paper one more time and take a look at it. Oh, she's adorable. All right. We're going to cover with the parchment paper. And then just press it for 15 more seconds. All right. There we go. Now she's all done. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. Adorable. Now let's chat again. You guys, do y'all see how cute this is? Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I just love, love, love this image. And I love y'all I love the products. I love the DTF. 
they got me hooked this stuff feels so good it's so much okay so here are some of the tips there's so much i want to go over let me grab my little pen and notebook for the tips that i have so once again i do want to let you know this is a dtf hack okay this is a hack this is not true dtf so please don't be confused i'm not using a printer etc this is a hack but the hack is working so far so i'm really excited about it also people have asked me um what colors i think someone even asked me if you could use it on a red shirt so this is similar to sublimation where you want to use it on white or light colors or pastel if you could even see on here there isn't white back here this is literally the white shirt so with true dtf from my understanding they print out like a white backing that goes behind the image so that white would be over the entire back of the image and this does not have that so if this shirt was red it would be red here and then red there as well okay or black or whatever color it is so just like sublimation you want to make sure that you're using lighter colors pastel colors and understand that if there is white in the actual image that whatever color that shirt is that will replace the white okay so i hope i answer that um i'm definitely gonna do a wash wash test people have asked me asked me but like i told you guys before i like actually wearing the shirts and making sure that i'm living in the shirts etc then i do an accurate wash test so i will have some wash test updates for you guys um people have asked me specifically about their printers i want to be very very clear I only have ever in crafting used my Epson Workforce 7720 printer and my HP 9015 inkjet printer. So people were asking me about specific printers and all these other numbers and honestly I don't know because I've never used those. So as long as it's a sublimation printer you could do the sublimation hat and as long as it's an inkjet printer you could do the inkjet hat from my understanding okay so just test it out try it out just like how i do on here and hopefully it will work for you people have asked me about the hack where people say do you have to use painter tape do your roller show show do the roller show um like the black and different things like that both of my printers none of those things have happened okay and I've used them a couple times with the film and I have not had any of those issues thus far. If for any reason they come up, I'll come and even if it's a live or a full video, I'll come and I'll tell you what I did to try to fix that. But I personally, thank goodness, have not had any of those issues. It was smooth like butter in both of the printers for me. No issues or anything. Okay. Um, do not, and I repeat, do not over cure or overheat okay you cannot use the same sublimation settings as the inkjet settings and this i should have known that because when i'm doing other things i can't use the same settings but like i said use the error and we have to learn and that's what life is about okay so make sure that you use the specific settings for the inkjet that i provided earlier you can rewind the video get those and the specific for the sublimation you can watch that video and get those as well so just make sure you're using the correct heating temperatures and time so that you won't over anything y'all know i'm extra and over but sometimes you know we can't do extra and over all the time okay so don't be extra in that regard um and then i think that's all the tips and things that i have for right now but if you have any more questions make sure you leave them down below this is such a great learning experience you guys know i love learning i love crafting i love teaching i love helping i love coming with new things for you and this hack has been amazing and it's such a great thing to learn new things so i'm loving this thank you thank you thank you so much animation this is the bomb y'all oh one other thing I do want to say people are like well why would you use this well there's a couple reasons one we're not using it on polyester you can use this on 100% cotton so that's the difference I've done sublimation hacks where you use where we've used it on glitter and different things like that well with this sometimes some people don't want glitter so you can put this on shirts and you don't have to use the glitter or you don't have to use the um, clear or different things like that some of the other hacks that I've done it's just another way to do 
with things. Like I always say, it's multiple ways to skin a cat. So just giving you guys options. Sometimes some men or women don't want glitter. They just want the image. And with this, you can get the in image and it goes into it it feels good it's soft it like it's amazing so yeah people have asked that too I'm trying to think but i think that's it y'all and that's a wrap please like comment share and subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns holla at your girl if you have not already please join our facebook group crafty queen dreamer we love it over there follow me on instagram do dream is the handle tiktok do dreamer is the handle and I love y'all. Did y'all know that? I think y'all know that. Anywho, y'all be safe out there. You hear? Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.